Hey you, stop faffing about, it's mafting in here. It's time to take a closer look at the Yorkshire accent. Now bear in mind, this accent can vary greatly between different speakers. It depends which area of Yorkshire they come from, what accents they heard growing up, and how old they are. We're gonna just look at the general features, and then at the end, you'll be able to hear the accent in full flow as I have a long discussion with a native Yorkshire lass. So, who are we meeting today? Hello, I'm Lauren and I'm from Redcar. Some people might call me a smoggy, but I am from Yorkshire and this is my Yorkshire accent. The first feature we're going to look at is the short vowel a, uh, present in words such as strut, love, some, fun, cup, country and above. This is a very different sound in the Yorkshire accent. Let's hear Lauren saying those words. Strut, some, cup, love, fun, <laughs> country, above. I'm as comfy as that there monk. The onions stunk. I crumble when you mumble. The next feature is the treatment of the long vowel R, present in words such as bath, past, daft, last, chance, laugh. In the Yorkshire accent, this becomes a short vowel A, and this is similar to many other northern counties. Let's hear Lauren saying those words. Bath, path, daft, last, chance, laugh. <laughs> A photograph of a bath. This is your last chance. You look daft when you laugh. Next, let's look at the diphthong O. Oh, o. Oh, present in words such as goat, tone, spoke, no, go, alone. In Yorkshire, these are very different sounds. Let's hear Lauren saying those words. Spoke, goat, turn, no, alone, go. She spoke in a nice tone. I don't want to go alone. Let's feed the old goat. I might explode. Another diphthong now, and it's the A diphthong. A. Two vowel sounds smoothly moving into one. A. A. Present in words such as late, compensate, great, play, date. In the Yorkshire accent, this again becomes a single sound, more like E. But <laughs> Let's hear the native speaker saying those words. Late. Compensate. Great. Play. Date. It's a great day to play. They ain't waiting. My face on a plate. Often, but not always, you'll hear the H omitted. For example, let's hear how Lauren says the words happy, here, behind, hope, home. Happy, ear, behind, up, um. You can hear him shouting, hip, hip, hooray. How did it happen? I hope he's happy at home. You may sometimes hear the middle T or a double T being glottalized. So for example, let's hear how Lauren says the words important, water, startup, better, kettle. Important, water, startup, better, kettle. Sit up straight. 
that put kettle on. When a word ends with a Y, in a Yorkshire accent, you'll hear this as a short I sound. For example, let's hear how Lauren says the words lovely, clearly, dilly dally, silly billy. Ah, lovely. Clearly. Dilly dally. Silly billy. It's silly to dilly dally. Billy's clearly happy. It's a lovely city. Across many northern counties, including Yorkshire, you will often hear a light L being sounded as a dark L. What I mean is, rather than L, you'll hear all. Let's hear how Lauren says the words little, leave, level, look, left, click and loud. Little, leave, level, look, left, click, loud. Leave it alone. Live out loud. Hello, little one. Another feature that you'll hear in many regional accents is the treatment of the NG. In RP, received pronunciation, this is sounded with the back of the tongue high. Mm, 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 like walking, singing. In the Yorkshire accent, however, this is treated like an N with the front of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Let's hear Lauren saying walking and singing. Walking. Singing. You'll also find if in the middle of a word you have a vowel followed by an R, that R can sometimes change the sound of that vowel in a Yorkshire accent. For example, listen to how Lauren says these words. Sure. Burn, warm, floor, barn. Sure. Burn, warm, floor. The barn floor were warm. No more, I'm bored. I never yearn a burn. Well, that's it for the features, but now let's hear that accent in full flow as I have a discussion with Lauren about dialect. So, hello Lauren, welcome to English Like a Native. Now, you have one of the accents that I find really difficult to master because I have a Lancashire accent naturally, not at the moment, mm. um, and Lancashire and Yorkshire, I think, as a Lancashire girl, are quite close together. What do you think about that? I don't know, I feel like... Um... We were a little bit similar, but when I think you get the more Yorkshire note, whereas I'm a little bit more Northern. Yeah. But as soon as we say us, oh, we're back together again. Yeah. So <laughs> there are certain features that really separate Lancashire and um, Yorkshire accents, aren't there? Definitely. Yeah. And we've already we've already looked at those, but mm. there are other things as well that were separators, which will be like dialects. Do you have specific dialect words that you're familiar with in Yorkshire that people everywhere else are just like? What are you saying? Yeah, when I first came to London um, for uni, I'd say things like, oh, proper chuffed, and they'd look at me like, what? <laughs> I was like, I'm excited, I'm, I'm happy. And you just have to try and explain that to them, yeah. <laughs> what it actually means. Um, so proper is like very, and chuffed is like excited. So I'm proper chuffed would be I'm very excited. So you could say, I went to a concert last night and I'm going again with my friends and they're all proper chuffed about it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, so normally when I think about Yorkshire, I think about a up. A up. <laughs> Is that what people say? Sometimes they, I feel like it's the older generation that probably do it like, oh, a up. And it's like, I don't know if it's more of a female thing as well. I don't know if I'd say it, but definitely a guy would say it. Yeah. And, and what like, does a up mean? A up is like, you're yeah, right. Like, a up. It's like hi in a way. So it's a like, greeting. how are you? Yeah, definitely a greeting. <laughs> so if someone comes up to you and says, a up, how would you respond? I'm good, thanks. You're all right. Oh, you're all right, I suppose. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would you say grand? Probably not. Is that On quite old-fashioned? Yeah, maybe 
15, 20 years ago, they might say, oh, that's yeah. grand. But I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit more Irish. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's grand. <laughs> so if you heard like an older Yorkshireman saying, oh, I'm grand, thanks, that generally means I'm very well. Yes. Um, but you would potentially hear that. Yeah. Just I not with the younger would. generations. Not in the younger generations, no. Okay. So there's a couple of other words that we've got written down here. Um, there's one here that I've never heard of, which is maftin. Maftin's like... I'm hot, like it's proper, well I say proper in front of everything, it's maftin, it's hot in here. Right, so maftin means hot, it's yes. hot, yeah. so outside it's proper maftin. It's proper maftin, like you go into a room and it's maftin or I'm maftin, you're just hot basically, uncomfortably. Okay, <laughs> and could it be used in the way that we use hot to mean attractive, like she's pretty hot or he's pretty definitely hot? Definitely not. <laughs> no, okay, it just means temperature wise. Yeah, definitely temperature wise of the body, but I would like to try that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so some other words I've got, um, ones that I have heard, which are um, a way to say goodbye, you'd say, ta-ra. Ta-ra, yeah, <laughs> and it's always followed by a love. Ta-ra, love. <laughs> oh, right, okay, ta-ra, love. What about duck? Do you use duck much in New Yorkshire? I don't, but I think maybe more in, like, West Yorkshire, they probably would say, oh, hey, up, duck, you're all right, duck, because it's like a term of endearment. It's like pet. Right. Like, so, but that's going more Newcastle. And can you say it to people, can you say love and duck to people that you don't know? So if I went to the shop and I buy something and the lady behind the counter is very nice, as I leave, I'd say, ta love, would that be too no, informal? I think people would do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they care. You know, it's like, everyone calls each other love and pet and just, they just... So everyone's very yeah, lovely. Yeah, everyone's friendly. No everyone's one takes friendly. it with offence. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I've also got e by gum. By gum. E by gum. What's that? I wouldn't say it, but I definitely say what my my grandparents would say. It. Or if I am saying it, I'm usually taking the mick a little bit of them. Like, right. gee, by gum. I can't believe it. Like, I can't believe it. Like, what? That's usually what it means. So it's like a, an expression of shock. Yeah, or fed up, like, by gum, like, I'm, ee, I'm, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if it's proper mafting outside, you've been outside all day, you come in, you sit down, you go, ee, by gum, it's proper mafting outside, I'm exhausted. Exactly. Yeah. There's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, some others. I'm trying to look for ones I haven't heard of. Doesn't, does that word? Oh, yeah, it's sort of danced. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I dare not, like, I dance, do that, like, because um, you don't want to do it. It's so like, how do you say it? Danced. Danced. Yeah, dan I danced. Danced. Yeah. I dance, do it. I dance, do that. So I dare not do it, I yeah. danced. We just take loads of words and put them together and make a new one. And Why then, not? Exactly. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you dance, do it. Okay, so that's one I've learned. Um, what's a butty? A butty is a sandwich, like a bun, but you, like, uh -huh. you famously put chips in it because it's the hangover cure of the century. Okay, so a chip butty. <laughs> a chip butty. And when was the last time you had a chip butty? To be honest, not <laughs> a long time ago. I'm from a seaside town, so they do the best ones in Redcar. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. you're from Redcar? Yes. Oh, I've been to Redcar. Oh, you've heard of it. So yeah. normally I just say North Yorkshire because it's easier. Yeah. <laughs> Jammy. 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 What does it mean if you're jammy? It's like, e or dead jammy you, like lucky, like you did really well or you got away with that one. Okay, so you, you're, you're lucky um, or perhaps you got away with something yeah. and that's jammy. I'd be really interested to know actually if you know any of these words, if any of these are familiar to you and you use them but you're not from Yorkshire, that'd be really interesting. So do put that down in the comments section below. Um, that I don't see any others here that are really um, unusual apart from maybe faffing. Faffing. To faff. It's messing about. Like, it's kind of like flapping. Yeah. Like, stop faffing, you. Stop. It's usually my mum will be like, just stop faffing, all right? Calm down. Yeah. Stop making a mess. Just stop faffing about and just get to so it. So I think a faffing has been to doing things that aren't important. Yeah. So doing lots of little things that aren't important. Yeah. So if you have to get out of the door, you've got one thing that you need to take with you and you need to get out by a certain time, but you're trying to tidy up. Try and find and the keys. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to do little bits and bobs. You're doing your hair and your makeup. Then you are faffing. Yeah. You're wasting time doing unimportant things. Yeah. So that's, that's how you use it? Exactly. Faffing. Yeah. Stop, Stop faffing. faffing around and just go. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So with your accent, um, I'm going to ask you a few questions now. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so has your accent ever been a help or has it ever been a hindrance in any way? I think it's a help when living in London. A lot of people who are from the north 
come in and they're instantly a little bit more friendly to you when you have got this voice because they're like oh it feels familiar and they're a little bit more warm to you they're like oh where are you from and it just gets this whole nostalgia going how long have you been in London what are you doing here so definitely a help um, in my job of hospitality okay. and so it puts people at ease yes it's a friendly it's a friendlier accent. voice like you feel less intimidated like I've worked in five star hotels and I've managed to keep this voice so <laughs> it's okay people still understand you and they do let you in because a lot okay. of people come in thinking oh I can't go in there and then they hear me and they're like oh okay we're allowed <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yeah it's fine so do you ever have it with people who say English isn't their first language do you ever have it that they don't understand you and they have to ask you to repeat yourself definitely um I think when people think of the English language a lot of people think of the RP receive pronunciation very T's and they're I talk fast as well, <laughs> so that doesn't help. So sometimes I need to tone down the accent a little bit. Yeah. Or they'll say a word and I'll say it in my accent and they'll be like, but that's not the word. I'm like, yeah, no, but that's just me saying it. <laughs> okay. okay, so do you find that um, you change your voice often? Are there other circumstances besides talking to someone who's finding your accent difficult to understand? Are there other circumstances where you change your voice? I do, like everyone has a phone voice because yeah. <laughs> I just, my surname's Bo, so that with this accent, Loren Bo, everyone's like, like, what sound just came out of your mouth? I'm like Loren Bo, and I'm like, so, oh, so okay. let's have, let's let's do okay. a little. <laughs> so we now got a little phone call for you. Okay, which accent am I answering? Well, you're in your telephone voice. So okay. ring, ring. Good evening, Loren speaking. <laughs> and do you like how it's Loren as Loren. well? Loren, <laughs> I'm Loren. Okay, go again, go again. <laughs> okay, and ring, ring. Hello. <laughs> So that's when you know your mum's ringing. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one is when you don't know who it is. Yeah, it's like, what? Do you think that the accent has changed at all over the years or do you notice there's a difference between the generations and their accents? Like your grandparents or your parents, is their accent any different to yours? I think when you think of the Yorkshire accent, it's more what my grandparents will say. Because like I said, they'll say by gum or hey, what are you doing? And it just, it just for me, sounds so strange strange being away from it and then yeah. going back to it and just being like that's so typical for them and we're obviously our generation new words like all oh, buzzing and stuff like that but it's more it's just when we say it in our accent as well yeah. it's just a little bit more so it's more about dialect generation. than actual pronunciation yeah the dialect's different between the generations yeah definitely okay. which i think is is the case across across all accents isn't it yeah we're always bringing in new words and, and words go out of fashion but in general you think the accent is pretty much the same although obviously across yorkshire the accent does vary it doesn't varies it? a lot like a lot of people say i'm from leeds and i'm like no <laughs> bit further up and then they'll say I'm from Newcastle I'm like no bit further down <laughs> I'm just from Yorkshire okay <laughs> that's it I think it's very difficult for the um for someone who's not from Yorkshire to actually hear the differences in the Yorkshire accents because I think there's like four different areas that that the accent can be split into yeah um if you're a Yorkshireman or Yorkshire woman and you're watching and, and you have an opinion on this if you think there is a big difference then please do let us know in the comments down below um, and the other thing I wanted to know the last question now is when someone hears that you're from Yorkshire or you tell them you're from Yorkshire is yeah. there something annoying that people do that like a phrase or a gesture that people do when they're mimicking you a hundred percent like straight away as soon as I say something it's always my O's that give me away. And they'll be like, I don't know. And they do it so like neat, like, like is, is that what I sound like? <laughs> I don't know. And I'm like, can you just stop it, please? They're like, oh, no. And it's just like, I could just stop. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that would be very I annoying. don't feel like it's that strong. <laughs> and then when somebody else is saying it to me, I'm like, okay, maybe it is. <laughs> But there's nothing to be ashamed of. Exactly. I always think that um, accents are fascinating and I am terrible for actually mimicking people. I just, I'm so fascinated when I hear accents that I just want to try and do it myself. Um, and I know that can sometimes be seen as, as, as being offensive or taking the mickey, which is never my intention. Um, but I, I can imagine it would be very annoying if people aren't actually listening to what you're saying. For me, it's my um, friends that are from different countries trying to do my Yorkshire accent. That's the best thing for me. Yeah. <laughs> One of my friends, um, she's Danish and she's been watching a TV programme and there's a lot of people on that programme from where I'm from and now she's doing that accent. I'm like, wow, <laughs> very educational. <laughs> That's really interesting actually. Just for my viewers, so a lot of people who watch these videos, they want to know more about the accent and they're very interested in um, British 
TV uh -huh. series that they can watch that will um, have those accents in. So can you name any TV Definitely um, Coronation Street, 100%. Right. You'll understand it straight away. And then like Hollyoaks. And then obviously you've got your Game of Thrones. So all the Northerners sound like this. And I think that's what justifies. I'm like, you know, like Game of Thrones? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier for them to understand where I'm from. Fantastic. Not that, but yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming and sharing your accent no with problem. us. Um, if you have enjoyed this, then please do give it a big thumb up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you don't miss any future lessons. Uh, Lauren, is there anything that you want um, my audience to know about you? Do you have a website or anything you want to promote? No, at the moment, I'm just a lovely, struggling actor. <laughs> but no, um, you can find me on my Twitter, at Loren Bow, and find out what's going on in my life there. <laughs> and I'll link that down in the description box below. Well, hopefully, we'll see you on Game of Thrones. Yeah, of course. If, if they continue on for a little while. I know, I feel like it's finished, though. Um, but it's fine. There'll be spin-offs. There'll be spin-offs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All set in Yorkshire. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> right. Do you want to go and get a, a brew and a chip butty? Yeah, I think that's exactly what we need. <laughs> Fantastic. Bye, guys. Bye.